Okay, so last time we did this example, we looked at uh, hearts, selecting a heart from a deck of cards, a king from a deck of cards, and we said we could not add their probabilities together because they both have this king of hearts in here. They're not disjoint. They're not completely separate events. So I can't add them together because I'd be double counting the king of hearts when I added them together. So what do I do instead? So this is what we're going to talk about today, which is the general addition rule. The general addition rule is that the probability of two events, so if A and B are two events, and if you any events, they can even be not disjoint, then the probability of A or B will always be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So A and B This is the set of outcomes that are in both and B. So our example above, the probability of selecting a heart or a king, this is equal to the probability of selecting a heart plus the probability of selecting a king minus the probability of selecting both a heart and a king. So what's a heart and a king here? This is the, just there's a one outcome, this is the king of hearts. So then the probability of hearts or kings is the probability of a heart, there's 13 hearts out of 52 cards, plus the probability of a king, there's four kings in a deck of cards over 52, minus the probability of a heart and a king, there's only one outcome that has that out of 52 cards. So that's 13 plus four is 17 minus one, that is 16 over 52. And that equals 0 0.308. So around 31% of the time, if you select a card, it will be either a heart or a king. 